Not sure what to watch in 2023? Director's Cut Corner is here to help you make the perfect choice. If you're new, subscribe and hit the bell for updates. Today, we're exploring the top 10 best new movies of 2023, handpicked for their captivating storylines, exceptional performances, and stunning visuals. Grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's dive into these unmissable films. Love and lives and memories, I only see you in my... Allison, a successful and happy woman with a wide circle of friends and a beloved fiancé, becomes the cause of a car accident that takes the lives of her potential in-laws. My fiancé treats me really well. He takes good care of me. But I can't help but feel like I'm missing something. A year later, she falls into depression, breaks off her engagement, abuses alcohol, and sees no point in life. Endanger your life! You can change this girl whole entire life. She'll be stupid to mess you over. I know that Ethan is a good guy, but maybe that's the problem. He's too good. Ain't no such thing as a good guy. However, a chance meeting with her ex-fiance's father, who never became her father-in-law, helps her overcome the tragedy and start living again. Only bring me closer hey. Sometimes in life you can't be with the man that you want. Sometimes you gotta be with the man who loves you. Till you meet my variants. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, is an American superhero action film directed by Peyton Reed, based on the Marvel Comics characters Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne. It is the continuation of the films Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What? Scott Lang, also known as Ant-Man, has a grown-up daughter, Cassie, who is now 18 years old after Thanos' snap that wiped out half of the universe's population in the film Avengers Infinity War. So, what's it gonna be? Cassie is passionate about science and, with the help of Hank Pym, develops a device that sends a signal into the quantum realm. It is the same place where Janet Van Dyne was trapped, and after many years, she has learned some of the quantum realm's secrets, including that time moves differently there. However, she hasn't learned everything about it yet. Together, the heroes enter the quantum realm, which expands their thinking and leads them to Kang the Conqueror. Six, bravo, bravo. Into the, pattern, left down the movie On One Wing is a disaster film directed by Sean McNamara, telling the story of Digby White's heroism, who, after the pilot's death, is forced to take control of the plane to save his family. From the traffic site. Are you scare him with your feet? This touching story is based on real events and demonstrates how unlimited faith and determination can help in surviving critical situations. My name is Abby. Travis Maddox. The movie is about the love story of Abby and Travis. Abby was looking for a quiet life in her studies, but he, a rebel and a champion of illegal fights, changes her plans. Has anyone ever told you that it's not very polite to be looking Young over? Young lady? After they make a bet that if Travis wins, Abby will spend a month with him, she is forced to live with him after his opponent's defeat. from your ordinary town? Wow, you're a wealth of information. Then they realize that they are connected more than they thought, and they have to take risks and trust each other. I don't want to have sex with you, Pigeon. I want to be around you. I fear you, brother. I got to set you free. Help me! Get me out of here! Nemo has cherished art since childhood, and even in a critical situation, he kept an album for drawing. Now he's a professional thief specializing in masterpieces. In one of his missions, he has to steal three works by Egon Schiele, but can't find one painting. Number three, come in. Go to Tompkins Square Park. 
During his escape, he gets locked in an empty apartment where he has to survive without food and water. His accomplices abandon him, leaving him at the mercy of fate, and he ends up alone with a housekeeper who won't help him escape. Cats die. Music fades. But art is for keeps. The Nefarious is an American horror film about a mentally unstable criminal who imagines himself to be a devil. The convicted killer awaits his execution, counting down his last minutes in a special cell where he is to be examined by a psychiatrist. The specialist needs to diagnose and issue a conclusion that would allow for the execution. I'm a demon. Demons aren't really a thing. I want to talk to the real Edward. Edward. Makes me do that. I can't stop him. I need you to see something. You got a fan. Did the same thing with all his victims. Help me! I'm trying to, Edward. However, the patient's words are far from reasonable. The man claims to be the demon Nefarious, capable of cursing the doctor. The prisoner assures the psychiatrist that he will soon be on the other side of the law and commit three brutal murders. Terrible news. Your grandfather is dead. I don't even know him. Christina, a writer, is experiencing a midlife crisis. Her son is leaving for college, her husband is cheating, and her boss at work is sexist. Start thinking about you. We are in the middle of a war. Her assistant, Bianca, informs her of her grandfather's death, and Christina agrees to attend his funeral in Italy. Together with her friend Jenny, they embark on a journey that leads to unexpected consequences. There is a shootout at the funeral, and Christina discovers she is expected to lead a mafia family in Calabria. You're the boss. Yeah, the I'm boss the takes care of business. I made muffins. Are you tired of this war? My family is tired of this war. Oh my gosh, TripAdvisor does not lie. Can I get another scoop? Hey, Square. I am not a square. I think we should invite Greg this weekend. What's this weekend? The, is high. Oh, the painting tells the story of Greg Laurie, a young man searching for God during the tumultuous 60s. Old fashioned authority. I think these kids need help. What they need is a bath. You're passing judgment on people you know nothing about. That's a door that's shut. During his travels to different cities, he meets a hippie preacher named Lonnie Frisbee and Pastor Chuck Smith. Together, they invite young people to church and create a movement called the Radical and Newly Found Love, which causes discontent among conservative congregants. The new movement was named the Jesus Revolution by Time magazine in the early 1970s. is a dark and divided place, but now there's hope and it's spreading. This is your home, and I want you to tell all your friends about it. We're doing this, we barely know these people. It's one day, let's mix things up a bit. Hi! You're just happy you found your fan club. I've been waiting six years for your second book. Is it coming out soon? I'm working on it. What do you do for money? The Endless Pool is an upcoming 2023 science fiction horror film with detective elements directed by Brandon Cronenberg. It stars Alexander Skarsgård and Cleopatra Coleman. For you to complete your transformation. Wealthy couple James and M. Foster head to the mythical island of Latapka for an all-inclusive vacation to unwind in seclusion. While the spouses enjoy each other on the island's best beaches, a mishap reveals the moral and ethical underbelly of the upscale resort, its specific subculture. It turns out that the island is home to phenomena such as reckless violence, hedonistic tourism, and surrealism in its worst manifestations. 
You know, James, do you worry they got the wrong man? The city is for some glamorous, stimulating, prosperous. Only recently has it become dangerous. The Boston Strangler is an American crime comedy directed by Matt Ruskin, based on the true story of a serial killer nicknamed the Boston Strangler. Homicide. I think the murders are connected. The story centers around Loretta McLaughlin, a newspaper reporter who becomes the first female journalist to link the Boston Strangler murders in the 1960s. As the number of victims of the serial killer grows, Loretta tries to investigate the case with her colleague and confidant, Jean Cole. But the two are at a standstill due to the pronounced sexism of that era. Despite all the difficulties, Loretta and Jean continue to do their job, exposing themselves to great danger and risking their own lives. And that's a wrap on the top 10 movies of 2023. But did we hit the mark or miss your favorite? Sound off below, smash that like button if you agree with our picks, and don't forget to subscribe for more movie magic. Click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next reel reveal. Keep an eye out because 2024 is gearing up to be an epic year for cinema. Until then, this is Director's Cut Corner signing off. Stay tuned, stay hyped, and remember, the next big thing in cinema is always just a play button away.